Welcome to a lesson on linear combinations and the span of vectors. Given vectors v sub one through v sub k are in Rn, and c sub one through c sub k are scalars, vector x is a linear combination of the vectors v sub one through v sub k if the sum of the products of the scalars and the vectors is equal to vector x. As an example, all vectors in R2 are linear combinations of the unit vectors i and j, or the vectors one, zero, and zero, one. These are also called the standard basis vectors in R2. As an example, the vector three, negative two is a linear combination of the vectors one, zero, and zero, one, since three times the vector one, zero minus two times the vector zero, one is equal to the vector three, negative two. We can easily check this. Notice three times one minus two times zero is three, and three times zero minus two times one is negative two. So in this example, the scalars c sub one and c sub two are equal to three and negative two, and the vectors v sub one and v sub two are the unit vectors i and j, and the vector three negative two is a linear combination of the unit vectors i and j. The vectors v sub one through v sub k don't have to be the standard basis vectors, for example, the vector eight negative five is a linear combination of the vectors three, zero point five and one negative three, since two times the vector three, zero point five plus two times the vector one negative three is equal to the vector eight negative five. Checking, notice two times three plus two times one is eight, For an example in R3, the vector negative four, negative 13, five is a linear combination of the vectors four, three, five, negative two, negative five, three, and three, five, negative two, since negative one times the vector four, three, five, plus six times the vector negative two, negative five, three, plus four times the vector three, five, negative two, is equal to the vector negative four, negative 13, five. Not all vectors can be written as linear combinations of any set of vectors. As an example, the vector five, negative eight cannot be written as a linear combination of the vectors two, four, and negative three, negative six. Let's take a closer look at why this is. If we could write the vector eight, negative five as a linear combination of the two vectors, there must exist a c sub one and a c sub two, such that c sub one times the vector two, four, plus c sub two times the vector negative three, negative six, equals the vector eight, negative five. And now if we perform the scalar multiplication on the left and then add the two matrices, we would have a column matrix where the first entry, we would have a two by one column matrix where the first entry is two c sub one minus three c sub two, and the second entry would be four c sub one minus six c sub two, which is still equal to the vector on the right, the vector eight, negative five, from here we can write a system of equations where the first equation is two c sub one minus three c sub two equals eight, and the second equation is four c sub one minus six c sub two equals negative five. To solve the system, we write an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Looking at the matrix in reduced row echelon form, notice in the second row we have zero, zero, one, which indicates that zero equals one, which is never true. Since the last row of the matrix in reduced row echelon form is false, this indicates the system has no solution, which indicates there are not values of c sub one and c sub two, where the vector eight negative five is a linear combination of the vectors two, four, and negative three, negative six. And now let's talk about the span of a set of vectors. The span of a set of vectors is a set of all possible linear combinations of the vectors. So the span of the vectors v sub one through v sub k contain all the vectors in the form of the sum of the scalars and the vectors v sub one through v sub k. And since we know every vector in R2 can be written as a linear combination of the unit vectors i and j, or the vectors one, zero, and zero, one, the span of the unit vectors i and j is R2. Similarly, in R3, the span of the vectors one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, zero, one is R3, because any vector in R3 can be written as a linear combination of these three vectors. And now let's consider the span of the vector two, three. Because we have a single vector here, 
the linear combinations of this vector will just be scalar multiples of the vector. So let's take a look at this graphically. Here we have the graph of the vector two, three, and now let's take a look at the linear combinations of this vector, which again will just be scalar multiples of this vector because we have a single vector. So here we see many of the linear combinations of the vector. Notice how all the vectors fall on the same line, which indicates the span of the vector two, three is a line containing all of these vectors, which would be this yellow line. And now let's determine the span of the vectors one and negative one and three, one. And again, let's look at this graphically. The vector one, negative one is graphed in green. The vector three, one is graphed in red. And now we'll look at some of the linear combinations of these two vectors, which will be the sum of scalar multiples of these two vectors. And therefore the blue vector will always be a linear combination of the two given vectors. Notice how we're tracing out points in every quadrant of the coordinate plane. In fact, we could trace out all points on the coordinate plane by determining linear combinations of the two given vectors, which means the span of the two given vectors is the entire coordinate plane, or R2. And now let's also consider the span of two vectors in R3, the vectors one, 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 and one, two, three. It's a little harder to see here, but the two given vectors are the green and red vectors, and the blue vector is a linear combination of the two given vectors. And now let's view other linear combinations of the two given vectors. Again, remember the blue vector is a linear combination of the two given vectors. So what we'll notice here is a linear combination of the two given vectors is always in this yellow plane, and the linear combination could trace out all the points in the yellow plane, and therefore the span is the yellow plane. Let's go ahead and summarize our findings. The span of the vector two, three is a line. The span of the vectors one, negative one, and three, one is the coordinate planar R2, which would be the span for any two vectors in R2, as long as the vectors are not scalar multiples, and neither is a zero vector. The span of the vectors one, 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 and one, two, three, is a plane, and this will also always be true for two vectors in R3, as long as the vectors are not scalar multiples, and neither is the zero vector. And then to finish the lesson, we will need to determine if a given vector is a linear combination of a given set of vectors to know if a vector is in the span of a set of vectors. We will look at examples of this in the next several videos. I hope you found this helpful.